started vlogging way back in October of 2016. Uh, I had been playing poker for a living for eight years or so, and uh, I found some medium level of success. Uh, I was grinding 5-10 game of the Bellagio, uh, but sort of felt like there was maybe a little bit of creativity missing from my daily grind. I also felt like there was a little bit of a lack of uh, content that was focused on the the daily grind, uh, you know, of a 2-5, five, 5-10 five, player uh, living in Las Vegas. You know, a lot of the, the content was focused on real high stakes stuff. So, you know, maybe like a combination of my own, uh, uh, felt like something was missing, combined with something that was missing from the poker media, I just decided to give it a whirl. So the first uh, 220 videos were pretty much all my own efforts uh, in terms of starring in, uh, filming and editing and uploading and packaging. Uh, for the past 20 or so episodes, I finally found an editor who lives in Austin, Texas, and he does an awesome job. Um, so thankfully I can offload some of the work and uh, it helps for sure with uh, trying to kick out the content a little bit more frequently. Um, but yeah, for a long time, just me. Hopefully as a still somewhat professional poker player, I'm playing poker in a, what, we, what we've come to know as a balanced manner. So if I'm gonna be raising pre-flop, I'm gonna have aces, I'm gonna have eight seven suited, I'm gonna have ace five suited, and they're not gonna really know which part of the range I'm gonna have. And so hopefully I'm playing in a well enough manner where I'm gonna have good hands, I'm gonna have bluffs, and uh, it won't be quite as clear. But even if I do end up giving up some edge through sharing a lot of my strategies, it's, it works out okay because uh, there's, there's value to be had in the content creation and in partnerships and things like that. So hopefully I'm making up for uh, that lost edge in other ways. Uh, when you start up a vlog project, you're definitely going to be giving up uh, some time at the table, some, some study time. Um, you know, there's, I don't know if you really find the, uh, the perfect balance ever uh, as a content creator slash poker player. Those, those two endeavors are something that, uh, you know, there's, there's no clear blueprint for and you're just kind of, you know, finding your way through these things. But um, you, you, do, you do your best, really. That's, that's the best you can do. Um, and yeah, you're definitely going to be giving up a lot of time. But again, hopefully you're making up for it in the, uh, the content creation endeavor. So this is a massive year for me personally between the WPT ambassadorship and partnership, uh, as well as the big project, the big investment down in Austin, Texas, which is the Lodge Card Club. Uh, so that was something that we launched, uh, the partnership, launched that partnership with Lodge early in uh, 2022 and this same year uh, the, uh, the WPT partnership happened. He's uh, taken up a lot of the, the time, uh, the poker playing time, the meetup game time and uh, traveling all over to these different uh, WPT stops which is awesome. It's such a cool brand to be a part of and, and to be working with. Everyone on the team is so nice and, uh, and professional and then uh, we have a really cool thing going on in, in Austin with the Lodge. So those are for sure the two main projects right now. Advice for people that are thinking about firing up a poker vlog would be to just go ahead and do it. Um, I debated doing it for probably at least six months or so and uh, wasn't sure if anyone was going to watch. I asked friends if they would subscribe to my channel if I did decide to do it just so there was at least somebody out there watching and subscribing. Um, and of course it, it worked out great. But even if it ended up not becoming such a massive part of my life, um, it would be cool to still have that uh, that video journal 10 years down the road that I can look back on. And um, that's that's something that not only myself, but uh, relatives and friends and people can always uh, check out at any time. So, you know, it doesn't, you don't have to put too much pressure on it to become such a, uh, a massive thing. Just give it a whirl, get in there, see if you like it, and uh, you have nothing to lose.